Us, who's been there since day one. She's live in Springfield with our top story at 11. Sonia. Mark, the jury now has some tough decisions to make. The defense argues the Fergusons were just a very strict couple who disciplined their children, but prosecutors say this was not discipline, this was child abuse and torture. It has been a long week in court, and jurors have heard a case that prosecutors say outlines child abuse at its worst. They adopted six children, gave them needy homes from their troubled past, and then put them in a dark spiral of pain and suffering for their entire existence. The five Ferguson children described daily beatings with a belt, stick, and bats. They were beaten to the point that they were bloody, the point that their underwear would stick to them. So he's saying James Ferguson has his belt, and he's got it up here. And for two to five minutes, he went. 12 to 14 times a week. He's doing that 12 to 14 times a week, according to Joseph. About up here, two to five minutes, wham, 12, 14 times a week. There's no way that kid could ever survive that. He wouldn't be allowed to talk about it. The children also describe being hit with hammers until their fingers turned purple, kicked, choked, burned, made to stand at a wall for hours, and made to drink hot sauce and spoiled milk. The defendant hung children, including Joseph, over the banister, eight to nine feet up. And why? Why did he do that? What did he say? To make them afraid. But the defense argues all of this testimony is made up. Exaggeration. Exaggeration is a lie. You don't have to determine who's lying and who's telling the truth, because if they're lying, you can throw it all out. Doctors have described the adopted children as the Stepford kids, robotic, programmed, and too afraid to report the abuse. Now they tell a horrific story of life behind these walls on Fountain Avenue. Extreme punishments at the hands of mom and dad if they did not do their chores or clean their room. A lot of the testimony we've heard accuses Vonda Ferguson of egging her husband, James Ferguson, on to beat the children when he came home from work. The children said, in fact, she would stand there and laugh at them. She would stand there and say, beat them more. The defendant told the detective what Vonda said. And she said, you haven't beat them enough. I want to see blood. They've tried Vonda Ferguson. I'm not here to defend Vonda Ferguson. Sometimes I had to kind of defend her. Why? Because I had to point out some of the exaggerations that the children were making about things. And I'm sorry, but exaggeration is luck. Now, if found guilty on all 30 counts, we're told James Ferguson faces anywhere from 55 to 255 years in prison. His wife, Vonda Ferguson, will be tried separately for these crimes. Reporting live, Sonu Basu, 2 News, on your side.